Well, we of course know and love the man behind the counter at Kenny and Ziggy. Ziggy Gruber is just one reason why Houstonians love a good deli. That is so true. The love affair started nearly 20 years ago for Houston, but Ziggy comes from a long line of deli men. He followed in the footsteps of his father and grandfather, and Ziggy is joining us now in studio to chat Eastern European Jewish cooking. Hi, Ziggy. Uh, hi, how are you guys doing today? Better now that you're here. Absolutely. We always love a visit with you. I'll tell you, looking at some of those photos, I got to, after the New Year's resolution, I got to lose some weight. I'll tell you, right? <laughs> you look fantastic. Well, thank you. You know, I always say, you know, it's personal growth. It is. <laughs> personal growth. Uh, now, today, I want to eat pretty much everything that mm. you have brought with you, you today and if you guys haven't been to Kenny and Ziggy's really it is worth stopping uh, you guys are just right there off what post oak and yes Westheimer ish yes we're, we have two locations uh, there and we also have Buffalo Speedway and uh, West Park over there in the Kroger shopping center all right well let's get to it because you are going to show right. us a demo here of Hungarian apple crumb cake right. which is called Krugel Yes, a kugel. We're doing, uh, there are different types of kugels, but we're doing a Hungarian apple crumb kugel. Okay. Kugel. And, and what we're doing is because it's Hanukkah and it's the Festival of Lights. Right. So we make all tasty things and we're going to get some eggs and we're going to get some sugar. Okay. Okay. And we're going to whip it up like this, like so. We're co it's called creaming okay. the sugar. And okay. you can really do this by hand, or, or could you do this with a mixer? You could do it with a mixer, but I like to do things, I don't know, I, it's, look, I don't do much exercise, and this is as good as it's going to get, so, <laughs> so you know, I might as well, you know? Right. So we're going to mix that in as well. You want to hand me the flour, please? Sure. The okay. whole thing? Now slowly add it while I'm doing that in there. Okay. Good. Good. And do you okay. sift you your go flour? A little bit beforehand? Uh, you know what? This is Eastern Europe. We don't do this. You don't no. sift the flour. No, 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 no. You're not afraid of a few lumps. No, 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 no. A little, it makes a bit. You know what? We'll My put God. the whole... There we go. Just <laughs> put, put the whole point. thing in there, you know. <laughs> we're not going to get, you know, we're, we're not going to... Magic we're not, of TV. Right, absolutely. Now what you're going to do is slowly add the milk. Oh, slowly again. Again. Right. Well, that you can do. We're not going to... It's not going to look like Medellin over here. Right. But, and this okay. is whole milk, right? Yes. Nice and okay. thick and Stop. creamy. No, keep, keep going, going, keep okay. going, keep going. We're going to pour the whole thing in there. Okay. okay? How are you doing? You doing good? I'm doing you great. You or anything? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay, perfect. Okay, see, now it's nice and smooth, right. see? Okay, now take some of the caramelized apples. Oh, my gosh, these look amazing. We're going to throw that in there. The whole thing. The whole thing. And if someone because you can't have it, enough apples. No, ever. Ziggy, if someone's going to make yeah. this at home, wh where would they get the caramelized apples? Well, you can make that yourself. You cut it up. And what you do is you let it sit, like I like to do, in a, in a pan for a very low flame. Mm -hmm. And then with the extra juice, I just add a little touch of cornstarch just to thicken it a little. Really? Okay. That's it? Okay, that's it. Now, I have a greased 9-inch tin like so. Right. And we're going to put in... You see how easy this yeah. is? You don't... It's not rocket science. It's nothing fancy. Very simple. So you're going to have plenty of time with all of your family, okay, like so. And then what I've done in here is I've made some brown sugar, some melted butter, and uh, what do you call it, some cinnamon and flour. And we made basically a streusel. Okay. So we're going to go like this. Oh, and just sprinkle and it on sprinkle the top. sprinkle it on wow. top. Oh, I would eat gosh. that topping just by Oh, the, believe me, you should taste the great. topping. It's fantastic. You can't put enough topping on it. Mm, and then what we're going to do good. is we're going to bake it at a 375 degree oven. Okay. Okay. And um, we're going to do that and, and for about 45 minutes or so. And golden it'll be brown perfect. On the top. Golden brown. And we have one. Voila. Like the magic of television. Yes. Right over See, here. Now look how perfect. gorgeous that is. And then how do you serve it? Do you serve it with ice cream or whipped cream? No, 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 no. You can, you know, it's, it's, you can serve it. By itself, you can serve it with savory stuff mm -hmm. to complement it, or you could have it as a dessert. It's up to you. Okay. All right, so let's try. Oh, that uh, it's amazing how just cutting into it released that, that smell. wonderful fragrance. Yeah. Okay, mm. so let's do this. Okay. Going in. Oh, Thank can you. I just eat it with my hands? Yeah, yeah take yeah, it, take or it. Or is that it. against the rules? No, there's no rules. No rules mm. when you're eating Kugel. Mm-hmm. Oh. Dude. <laughs> 
That is really good. Thank you. I'm you really know, it's not as sweet as I thought it would mm -hmm. be. No, no, no. It's, it's not, not it's not overly powerly. So we brought some other stuff because it is Hanukkah. And we do, you know, the, the, the whole thing is this, it's about oil. Mm -hmm. And naturally we have the potato pancakes, One which my are over here. Too. Yeah. The latkes. Potato pancakes, we'll bring them over here. And um, those are what we sell tons. We go through 5,000 pounds of potatoes in the whole week. Really? For yes, Hanukkah. yes. And They're believe, so yummy and delicious. delicious. We have knishes. We have sufgani yot, which is a Israeli-style donut, mm -hmm. which is filled with uh, raspberry jelly. And we have all the different types of holiday cookies. And we also have, uh, what do you call, our blintzes, which are legendary. They are. If you've never had our blintzes, you are missing out. You must have You have, have not that. lived at all and if you of haven't course, had And, of course, my our stuffed, stuffed cabbage. cabbage. Mm -hmm. Our stuffed cabbage is legendary. It is. Remember we, when we chatted last time? Right. I'm used to the glumki, which is right. Polish, well, that's the same. But, but it tastes just like my mom's. Well, it is. You got to remember. You know, the largest Jewish population at one time yes. was in Poland. I know. Unfortunately, before World War II. But look, it's 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 a joyous holiday season, and it's great. And the best thing is. We get to eat everything that we like to eat. <laughs> we do. And then, like I said, I saw those photos, and then we can work it off in the gym after. We just worry about that in January. Ziggy, always great to see always you. Always Happy Hanukkah to you. Thank you. And for more information, visit the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. All right. That was absolutely delicious. delicious.